building kid here. Today we're going to be creating this clock in p5.js. Let's start the timer now. Okay so I'm starting with a black background and a canvas of dimensions 400 by 400. First thing I'll do is set the angle mode to degrees because I like to work in degrees and let's draw a circle at 0, 0 and a diameter of 10. Okay, now it would be easier if we move the origin over here. So let's translate um, translate 2 width divided by 2 and height divided by 2. Um, cool. And um, next I think we can draw one of the hands. So that's just the line. And we'll put the line at 0, 0, 0 and minus 120. And that will draw a line from there to there. Okay, great. Now let's set the stroke color. And just make that white so we can see the line. And I think here we can put the stroke weight and change that to 2 because make it a thick but thicker. Okay, nice. And the next thing we will do is we're going to have to rotate this um, hand. So what we will do is push because we're going to use the rotate function and we don't want it to affect anything outside of this code. And in there, um, we'll put a rotate and the angle will be second times six because we want the hand to move six degrees every second okay let's see if that works cool okay so now we can do another hand but before that let's create a function to draw a hand so function draw hand and uh, just copy this code in there. Okay, so then we'll call draw hand. Uh, see what happens. Draw hand. Okay, it works, but I think we're gonna have to give it some parameters. Um, for example, the rotation and um. Let's do rotation first. Rotation and just make that rotation. So rotation, then we're gonna have um, length. And let's put that over there. Uh, let's, okay, and then I guess we'll have the stroke weight. So just call that weight. Um, weight, that's correct. And uh, let's call your hand with the right function. So, um, parameters. Oh, actually, we're not using weight, so let's fix that. Okay, so um, draw hand with second times six. Length should be 120, and the weight should be two. Same thing. Now we can just copy that down and draw the minute hand and the minute hand will also move six degrees per tick or per minute and um, uh, nice although I think we could make that a little smaller and also make the stroke higher yeah perfect um, okay and then we'll do the hour hand so the hour hand we actually want it to take 30 degrees per hour uh, okay but there's one more thing the hour function goes from 0 to 23 and we want it to go from 0 to 12 so we can call the modulus function and that should fix it so let's see if that worked okay let's fix the length because the hour hand is usually the smallest okay perfect and let's make the minute hand a bit bigger yeah nice um okay um so now that we're done with the hands we can 
to the numbers. So I'll create a function called draw numbers uh, function draw numbers and then I'll call it so draw numbers perfect and in here uh, we'll have a for loop and for let i be less than 12 uh, and this will draw the numbers so 12 1 2 3 so on and so on and um okay but we actually want to loop from 1 to 12 so for let i be assigned to 1 i is less than or equal to 12 Okay, nice. Next, we'll draw some text. Let's just draw I for now, and let's format this to be meter. Okay, and for the X and Y values, we're going to be using sine and cosine, because if you use sine and cosine together, you can make a circle. And that's what we want our text to be in. Okay, so let's Let's put cosine of i and we actually want to multiply i times 30 because cosine accepts degrees and um, i goes from 0 to 12. If we multiply it by 30, we can map it to degrees. Okay, great. Talking about mapping though, I think we're going to have to map this one. So map um, cosine i times 30 minus 1 and 1, oh, come on, 1 and it will go from let's say minus 150 which is around there uh, to 150 which is the opposite of that. Okay, perfect, so we got the x. Uh, but we want the y, so that will be the sine of y times 30, same thing, and now we got our numbers. Okay, so let's just fix the, fix the look, um, because they look terrible, to be honest. Um, so let's take out the stroke, so no stroke, and just call it like that. And then we'll set the full, so the color of the text to white. And maybe change the size of the text to make it a bit bigger. So text size 30. Okay, perfect. Although I think we're going to need an offset. And the numbers look wrong. Let's do the offset first because that's a bit quicker. So minus 10. And okay, let's make that a bigger offset. So let's say minus 20 and plus 10 perfect okay so now we can fix the numbers so um i think what we're gonna have to do is move 12 over there and then shift this whole wheel 90 degrees backwards so i think we can do that by more mm, subtracting 90 from this yes and that worked okay let's just make this a variable because ah, because we're using it twice so let's say by degrees and let's create that variable um let i degrees be assigned to this thing and perfect that worked okay i think we can make the offset minus 15 and next we can go into the styling because we wanted to center this and also give it a round border so um let's do that so we'll go into a style.css and look at the canvas styles and first we'll add border radius to 50 percent and that will give us a rounded clock that's very nice and then top uh that'll be um we'll call the calculate function can we get this in time uh calculate function and then we'll calculate um 50 viewport height 
minus 200 pixels because that's half the width the the height of the canvas and then the left will be 50 vw minus 200 ah so close so close though okay um so we have to add position absolute for this to work position absolute perfect and this is actually now resizable so let's let's move this take out the timer and that's it for today's video see you in the next video and please like and subscribe Thank you.